Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Kellen here with Droid Life. So I've got in front of me, brand new Google Play Store version 5.0. So it just showed up tonight out of nowhere and a couple of our readers grabbed it, sent it over, and now it's available for everyone to load if you'd like. So I've got it up running on Xperia Z3 Compact. I've got the old 4.9 up and running on the original Moto X. So basically we just wanna show you some differences between the two because there are definitely some differences. Um, we got a lot of this sort of material design layout and some of the hints of it uh, in 4.9, but this is the full makeover. This is version 5.0. So uh, let's dive in. Well, before we dive in, let's just take a look here so you can see the uh, the new icon. I know it's not totally coming through here, but it's sort of flat with a little crease going through the middle. It's a really nice looking icon. Not that the, uh, not that the, the previous icon was bad. The new one's just sort of a little more modern, if you will. So all right, let's load them both up here. And before we dive into some of the differences, let's go settings, scroll down here. So you can see 5031 on the Xperia Z3 and 4913 on the uh, on the Moto X. So let's go back. Uh, obviously, the biggest change up front is uh, sort of action or menu bar, or whatever you want to call that up top. Um, it's sort of a bluish color now. Instead of the gray, the Play Store icon is also now gone in the sort of hidden, half-hidden hamburger menu style that Google was doing with a lot of apps for a while has uh, jumped out. So it's now actually fully visible. It just says Play Store, and then you have a search button as well. Now, once you jump below that, you'll see the categories for apps, games, music, movies, and all that stuff. Those have changed as well. So you now just have solid colors in all of those, and they're sort of bolder colors, if you will, too. And in the old version, you sort of have that diamond pattern and a little bit... Um, softer or a little more drab colors, I would say, uh, paler, if you will. So you've got the bolder colors here, and there's the difference. Uh, once we start scrolling down, the categories and stuff aren't gonna look all that much different. Again, some of the stuff we did see come in the 4.9 update, but you notice the button for more different color and a little bit flatter design there. So we can scroll down, and uh, the layout and things like that haven't necessarily changed all that much. So. Scroll back down here. Uh, if we swipe out the menu though, so the pull down for changing accounts, that hasn't exactly changed, but you can see the the options here in this menu, uh, fonts are smaller. Basically everything's been shrunken so you actually get everything without having to uh, scroll or anything like that. Uh, you can see we all have icons next to home, my apps, wish list, and people now where you didn't have them previously. And then you don't have icons anymore for redeem settings help when you did previously, if that makes any sense. So uh, let's jump into my apps really quickly. In my apps, you'll notice some of the differences right away. So again, the update all button, the color has changed, uh, but up top now, so you have that top menu bar, and then you have sort of the category bar, if you will, underneath that, and you can see the colors now blend in and are the same depending on what you're looking at, and I'll show you those in some other categories as well. But so you no longer have that sort of tabbed view, you basically just have font and text that you uh, have to understand is a category. So you can still swipe over and scroll between these things. It's just not as obvious or apparent, although you do sort of have a white indicator there. So that's sort of what that looks like. Uh, let's jump back though and go to home and let's just jump into the app screen. So from here again, the, the layout and things haven't really changed, but you can see how we got this blended together sort of category area with that top bar. And over here, it was separated still in 4.9. Now you can swipe between these and the uh, app layouts or listings essentially still look the same. So not a lot going on there. Um, we can swipe all the way over. Oops. Swipe all the way over and you can see categories again. Nothing's really changed there. Font. Some things have shrunken down a little bit and that maybe is about it. So let's go back home once again. And if we jump into something that has some color, so we go into like movies and TV, this is where you'll see again, the red sort of blurs together, blends together up here and you sort of have it separate there. Um, if you scroll, notice a different as well. So on the top or on the new version, movies and TV in that bar goes away and then you get stuck with the uh, category bar. In the old version, you can see it stays the whole time. So it takes up precious screen real estate. So it's actually a change we definitely like. So you can see that, that animation, it sort of goes away. It's sort of that material design idea where you have layers um, and things actually moving and moving parts and things like that. So see the differences there. Uh, we could jump into a movie listing. See, nothing is really changed in there. So got the uh, preview option up top, scrolling through here. 
not a lot going on. Um, let's jump into music. So you can see the differences there. So same sort of thing you got going on with my movies and TV. Those colors again blend together. Listings still mostly look the same. We jump into an album though. Uh, if we scroll up, still have the big art. Scroll through here. You do have a read more section, which in the in the new version 5.0, which you don't have in the old one. And it's basically um, release information, copyright information, things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and close that. So if we go back and uh, let's go back into, oops, scroll back here. Sorry about that. Home and home. All right. So now I'm going to go into my apps again. We'll look at some of these things. So if we have an app update, let's say Chrome, for example, jump into Chrome on each of these. So if you're in Chrome and you start scrolling, this is one of the things I really like is the what's new section now has color surrounding it. So rather than trying to find it in white text on as you had to do in the old one, you now actually get to see in green what's new and it actually stands out and they're trying to tell you everything that's new. That's really the only big change I think you'll notice in actual app listings and it's actually a really nice one. So we do applaud them for that. Uh, if we jump into the read more section, you can scroll through all of this. And so they've separated a little bit of this out. You can see in the old version, they had the uh, top developer tag and who it was offered by and the developer email in this little, in this section. And now they're sort of dropping it back down into even the bottom section. So accolades or something in there, something like that. So that is mostly it. Um, if we swipe these out, let's go back to my apps. If we do an update all, just so you can see what updates look like. And I've got a bunch over here. So nothing really changing there from what we can tell. Still basically the same information being shown. So uh, yeah, this has just been a quick look at Google Play version 5.0. Again, you can download this if you're not seeing it already on your device. You can download it over at Droid Life. Um, but so far though, really nice change. It really shows you the direction we're headed here. So we should see updates that look like this in other apps like Gmail, YouTube, and, and some of those others that Google has yet to touch. And it should happen fairly soon because Android L is on the way and material design is supposed to sort of take the lead there and design for Android L. So uh, if you guys have comments, questions, or want to see anything else, uh, we're here. We're Joy Life and we're out. Peace.